वेलकम बैक बी अहेर विद ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ एप्रिल गॉड यू ब्लेसिंग नाउ टू अचीव सक्सेस वी नीड समन सपोर्ट राइट विद इट्स फैमिली विद इट्स फ्रेंड्स बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सपोर्ट इज गॉड सपोर्ट प्रोवाइडेड वी ऑन द राइट डायरेक्शन इफ गॉड इज सपोर्टिंग अस देन एवरीथिंग बिकम्स इजी फॉर अस सो गॉड सेज इन दिस ब्यूटीफुल ब्लेसिंग दैट मे यू बिकम एन एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ फुल सक्सेस एंड एन इजी योगी समबडी हु इज एबल टू कनेक्ट टू द क्रिएटर इजीली बाय हैविंग अ क्लोज रिलेशनशिप विद द फादर so whenever you have a relationship with anybody it becomes easy for that relationship to pull you towards itself that means you can remember that person remember that relationship remember the nectar or sweetness in that relationship right that's how the relationship is with god also the sweet nectar full relationship so god says by having a close relationship with the father and having all attainments now what are these attainments these are not physical attainments physical attainments come after spiritual attainments so once you are spiritually powerful then the physical things around you try to support you and try to guide you so god here says the children who are constantly in a close relationship with the father close relationship with the father that means pure divine relationship where there is friendship also where there is brotherhood also yes you can't make him your brother but then yes you can talk to him like a brother and you can talk to him like a sister or a or you can talk to him like a friend you can talk to him like a spouse if you're not getting that kind of help from your own spouse or your own brother or your own sister or your own your friends then you can make him your friend brother sister and whatsoever you want to make him and talk to him about your things so that you have a contact with him you have a union or a yog with him that's the whole purpose so god says the children who are constantly in a close relationship with the father and experience all attainments experience easy yoga they constantly experience themselves as belonging to the father they do not need to be reminded of being souls or being the father's children they always like okay whether it's happiness whether it's sadness they remember the father no matter what it's not about that when you only attain happiness that you thank him or when you are in sadness that you remember him and they don't need to be remember, uh, reminded that i am a soul i have to remember god i am a soul i have to remember god no that's not the process it's much easier than that so they do not need to be reminded of being souls or being the father's children but they always have this intoxication and experience being embodiments of all attainments they i feel as if they are connected they feel as if there's nothing which they need to have but they have this intoxication and experience being embodiments of all attainments that i am the child of god i feel like i'm the child of god i feel like i'm a soul and it's not about intellectualizing it god then says they constantly have elevated zeal and enthusiasm and stay in happiness they constantly stay in a powerful stage and thereby become embodiments of full success they constantly have elevated zeal and enthusiasm because they are in contact with the creator and stay in happiness because their karmas are right they constantly stay in a powerful stage and thereby become embodiments of full success so their stage is powerful no matter what happens in their life they are constantly in connection with creator they are asking him questions how should i go about this what should i do in this situation what qualities what talents what power should i use so as to pass this hurdle how to fly above this hurdle and that's how they are constantly in touch with creator god and they have all the attainments of powers and knowledge and wisdom to go through any situation in life and to know how can you be like this do visit a brahma kumari center nearby you om shanti bliss